Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that has really uh, it, it's been burning in my mind. We're going to be discussing a lot of things about the channel, not only where the channel has been, but where the channel is also going to be going. But I also want to talk about myself, personal fulfillment, and happiness overall, um, and kind of give like a little bit of like a channel and life update all in one big video. Uh, I'm going to try to make this not super heavy, make it entertaining for you guys. But uh, as always, I my name is Lane. Welcome back to the BB Warrior. Typically, my channel is to help you guys have a better time, both on and off the airsoft field through educational content. Today's video is a little bit different, but it's something that I really wanted to get off my chest so you guys can understand where I'm coming from as a creator. But at the same time, there's a lot of things I want your guys' feedback on as well, and I think this is, you know, the best way to approach something like that. So I want to start off this video by saying that this year has been pretty rough for me in the airsoft department. I haven't had a really, like great day of airsoft like something that like i still remember months later since about october it is you know late july at the time that i'm filming this video if you're watching it a little bit later so it's it's been rough a lot of the national games that i've gone to have kind of sucked um there's been some great ones don't get me wrong um but those are few and far between um other than that i've had a lot of guns go down guns that you know i have previously said are the best airsoft gun out there for example um, that's foreshadowing for a future review um but yeah there it's not been a great year of airsoft and something that can be a little bit hard to do when you're not having fun airsofting is having fun making airsofting videos um the quality of gameplay that i've had this year has definitely affected the quality of the videos that I put out and lately I don't there's a lot of videos that I'm still super proud of that I'm creating but there's a lot that I feel like you know I could just do better or if I had more time this would be a such a better video so I I've been having issues with the schedule and if you've been following the channel for the last couple of years now I mean I've been doing this for four and a half years I'm pretty good about making my schedule but it feels like I'm missing about one out of one out of every like six videos or so i just miss um and that's for a variety of reasons it could be that i'm traveling like i know i missed a video the day of desolation 2 by omega productions i just didn't have anything ready because i was so focused on going to a game um so so things have been a little bit rough in this aspect but i do want to touch really quickly on the other aspects of my life and what's life like outside of airsoft Excuse me, this is a totally like unscripted video if you haven't figured that out yet. I just got like got in front of my camera. I'm like, let's do this. Um, outside of Airsoft, things have been fantastic. Um, I've been thinking for a while now that I was in the best year of my life. And I've been saying that since about April of last year. And now that I'm past 12 months, I realize that I'm just happier as a person um and i know this is super contrasting from what i've been saying about airsoft for the last couple of minutes but it all comes together trust me um just I, i've been doing like a lot of soul searching and figuring out what makes me happy as a person what i like to do and you know through the things that i've been able to do that i've never been able to do before the people that i've met whether that be both in and out of airsoft just i'm a much happier person and I enjoy life so much better, but I feel like I always have this like constant struggle between, okay, I want to go out and do stuff that like really makes me happy. And at the same time, I have a commitment to you guys that, hey, you know, you need to make videos. Um, and I'm not saying that those can't coexist. That's absolutely not the point of this video. This point of the video or the point of this video isn't to say that I'm quitting. I just, the more and more that I think about it, I think that there's ways that I can make both ends better for myself and for you guys. So I have a question. I think what would be great for this channel is to get away from that video a week schedule. I think what would work really well and something that would make me feel better about the content that I create is not doing a schedule anymore. And what I mean by that is I just don't want to be tied down to that video a week. Because I was thinking about it the other day. There's a video I've wanted to do for about three years now. And the video is what you should know before you buy an airsoft sniper rifle. And I've had a concept for this video for, again, about three years or so. The idea would be that instead of me sitting here in my mom's basement talking to you guys in front of the camera, I wanted to, you know, have myself out on an airsoft field or my mom's backyard, whatever, 
and you know be like gillied up with a sniper rifle and have this you know fun little video that would be completely different from what I typically do um, and then you know between the tips like uh, it'd be like one of my standard tip videos that I typically do but between that you know have like a little bit of gameplay like you know just like one like at the end of the tip like raise up the rifle look down the scope and then have it go to like a scope cam shot of some kid like 200 feet away getting sniped you know just like stuff like that like there's a lot of great ideas that I've had that I feel like I can't accomplish and I feel like this week or this weekly schedule kind of holds me back because there are times where I'll have like great ideas for videos but I'm like man I just need to get this out I need to get it out before you know before every Friday um, and at the same time I feel like it's kept me from some other things um, I've talked about this very briefly in a couple of other videos over the years but since about like late 2017 maybe like September 2017 I've had I've been concepting a whole nother YouTube channel and that's not to replace this channel anything like that I want to make that like super clear I'm not going anywhere but there's other things that I want to do in my life that I know will make me a happier person and I feel like the way that I have set up my life and the way you know like when I was in high school you know doing a video a week was really easy because I'd come home from school I'd film a video while no one was home and I would, you know, just post it, whatever. I did two videos a week back then, but they were super bad. They were filmed in my apartment's bathroom. Um, like those videos are super bad if you go back to the beginning, and they didn't have any sort of quality to them. It was just me, I had my contour in front of me, and I just kind of talked about whatever was there. And, like, I kind of missed those simpler days, but now as someone who is, you know, a student of media, I'm going for a broadcasting degree, there's a lot there's a lot more that I take into consideration now and you know to get a really like high quality video there's a lot of work that goes into it and you know getting like supporting footage gameplay if it's a review it's a lot of work and there's a lot of things that I feel like I cut corners on with this video a week schedule so realistically how often would you be posting videos Lane would you be coming at us like every month every whatever I think every two weeks is fair because um, I think that gives me a nice balance between, one, keeping the, co the content interesting, um, and then as well making sure that it's high quality. I'd rather spend more time to have, you know, not only content that you guys are going to enjoy better, better for the content itself, but also have it be something that I can be proud of, you know, have it look better and overall just be a higher quality video and I think that as well you know with this they'd be longer videos as well they'd probably be pushing 15 20 minutes but if I could really hit every single point that I want to make and at the end of the day when the video is published not have any regrets about it I think I'd be much happier and you guys would enjoy the video that much better um so I want to know what you think about that. I could be totally wrong, and you guys could be like, well, Lane, you know, just put out more content and don't put as much production value into it. That would also make my life a little bit easier, but when a video has taken me four, five, six hours, depending on what it is, it really keeps me from doing a lot of other things outside of my job. I go back to college in about a month, which I'm super stressed out about with all the other commitments in my life. Uh, so yeah that's kind of where i'm at with videos um in like most aspects of my life i am incredibly happy i am happier than i have ever been i have a lot of fulfilling relationships and it's just it's great especially like with you guys out there on the field like i i don't want to neglect that and say that airsoft has been a horrible time i still have fun playing airsoft I just haven't had as much fun as I've had before, and I think what I really enjoy about Airsoft, and something I never really thought of up until recently, was the people around me are truly what makes me enjoy Airsoft. The friends that I've made, the friends that I've had for years, that's what makes me enjoy this hobby, and I, I just want to balance everything and make everything better, I guess you could say. Um... So, yeah, that, that was really the biggest thing that's been bugging me. I think that'd be a great idea. Um, but if you guys, you know, if you have any other suggestions, I would love to hear it. Um, I feel like for a while I was really concerned with worrying about views and subscribers and numbers. I checked it every day. I checked it, I checked Social Blade like two or three times a day. And now I check Social Blade maybe once a week. Um, if you're unaware with what Social Blade is, Social Blade is like a live YouTube subscriber and view counter. It's a lot more accurate than actual YouTube, which is kind of weird to say, but that's the case. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm much more focused now than trying to beat the algorithm and, you know, grow my community. 
I'm much more focused on making content that you guys genuinely enjoy, find useful, and something that, you know, creates value for you as a viewer. Um, but that was really about everything, I hope. Like I said, this video had no script. I just kind of came here and I'm like, well, I'm going to rant for a little bit and talk about happiness. Um, if it wasn't for you guys that watch my videos and have listened to me for the last 15 minutes ranting about happiness and airsoft, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I would just be a loser probably playing video games uh, rather than, you know, f doing something that eventually made me figure out what I want to do with my life and go to college. So, yeah, this channel has been, you know instrumental to my happiness over the last couple of years so uh thank you guys very much um i'm gonna like cut myself off from ranting at this point so uh thank you so much for watching i will say if you're interested in any of the other projects that i'm working on because again there's things that i've wanted to do that i haven't quite had the time to do like again starting a whole second channel make sure to check me out not only on my social media for the bb warrior which i keep strictly airsoft i'll have my uh, other accounts down below that you can check out so if you want to follow me on like instagram things like that see the other stuff that i do outside of airsoft that will all be down in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching this is um i don't even know what i'm gonna call this video um well anyways i hope that you guys enjoy this video when it goes live in about 12 hours or so it's thursday night but uh see you guys next time hope to hear your feedback again you know like what do you think about schedules you know um all that sort of stuff leave it down in the comments below but i am going to stop ranting